In this video, I'm going to be going over a huge market crash that is coming tomorrow in NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys know, last Friday, we did get these new Zen packs that had some very good cards. Then we got our first Galaxy Opals in packs, which was uh, Galaxy Opal Shaq. We got Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony, who's one of the best Pink Diamond cards in the game and one of the best small forwards in my team. We got a really good kind of not budget, but a really good Pink Diamond Grand Hill, who's only about 80,000 MT, and he's a very good shooting guard. And then we also got some very good Diamond cards, including this Laurie Markkinen and Diamond throw bailey and this throw bailey card is honestly one of the best cards in the game and we also got some decent amethyst in russell westbrook and kaminga so overall i think it was a great content drop that obviously dropped the market a decent amount but this friday guys if you don't know it's basically going to be the promo drop before christmas comes out and we are guaranteed to get a galaxy opal mj if you guys haven't been on twitter for the past couple weeks they leaked their next three promo drops last friday was going to be opal shack this friday is going to be opal mj and then the next friday after tomorrow is going to be opal Steph curry those are guaranteed so we're getting opal mj tomorrow that's obviously going to be a huge name coming into my team and i do think he's going to be a very good shooting guard and cause the market to crash a lot but not just mj i think we're also going to see a pink diamond d rob or an opal d rob because he still needs to come out we've got pretty much every card in the game that we've needed so pink diamond d rob is one of the only last cards that we do need in my team so i think we're going to see it either an opal or a pink diamond d rob tomorrow i think we also do see you know two galaxy opals in tomorrow's content drop one being Michael Jordan, and then the other one I think could maybe be Kawhi Leonard. Just to talk about some predictions before we get into the market crash, I think what you can do to kind of predict this is go back to season one and look at kind of these pink diamonds and see which ones you think could get a Galaxy Opal. I think Kawhi Leonard could definitely get a Galaxy Opal, maybe even a guy like Joel Embiid, but if they wanted to do D-Rob, it probably wouldn't be, uh, if they wanted to do D-Rob, it probably wouldn't be Embiid, and they also probably wouldn't do Tatum, because he was in the same content drop as Michael Jordan before, so maybe a Zion Williamson, maybe a Vince Carter, but my guess is it's going to be Galaxy Opal Kawhi, Galaxy Opal MJ as the two Opals, and then for the Pink Diamonds, I think we're going to see D-Rob as one of them, and I think we might see another point guard as well, so those are kind of my constant predictions, and if we do get a really good content drop, which I'm pretty much expecting, because if you guys remember last year for the tis the season drop it's going to be called tis the season tomorrow this friday as well what the promo is going to be called and if you guys remember tis the season from 2k22 that's when we got the galaxy opal curry galaxy opal Braun, we got pink diamond Kawhi, we got pink diamond rudy gay and overall was a very good content drop so i think definitely tomorrow we're going to see one of the best content drops of the year that's going to cause the market to crash like crazy so now kind of talking about the market I mean, you guys can see the market is kind of low right now. Like, I wouldn't say it's low. It's about average, right? It's gone back up in price a little bit. Obviously, did crash last Friday, like I said, with the new Zen cards. So I'd say right now, if you guys wanted to maybe sell some cards before the huge market crash does come, I think that's definitely not a bad idea. Like, I really think we could see one of the biggest market crashes tomorrow if we do get as good of a content drop as I'm thinking, which I'm pretty sure we will, because I'm guar not guaranteed two Opals, but we're guaranteed to get Opal MJ. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to get Pink Diamond d or Opal d -Rob which would be absolutely insane if we were to get opal Kawhi, opal uh, opal uh, mj and then like a pink diamond d rob those three cards alone would cause the market to crash a lot so if you guys maybe have like a penny hardaway you know a kobe bryant because we're getting an mj right we're getting opal mj who might be better than a guy like kobe so if you wanted to sell your kobe might not be a terrible idea or if you wanted to sell any of your shooting guards because we are guaranteed to get that galley simple mj i think that definitely wouldn't be a bad idea because you guys gotta remember that opal mj might be the best or second best shooting guard in the game because he's most likely going to get his jump shot on quick timing. At least I would assume he gets his jump shot on quick timing. He's going to have the MJ dribble style, which is the best in the game. And he'll probably have the normal leaner as well with some amazing stats on the defensive side of things. And overall, I think it could be one of the best cards in the game. So if you guys have any like shooting guards, maybe a Ron Artest, Ray Allen, Clay Thompson, I think definitely selling those cards might not be a terrible idea because those cards could obviously crash a lot. And then same thing with centers. If you guys have a Kareem, maybe you have a Shaq. I think it's not a terrible idea if you guys wanted to sell them. I definitely think that'd be probably a good idea with a guy like Shaq because Shaq right now right he's still probably maybe the best center in the game either one or two but I think if we see an, an Opal d -Rob who's definitely gonna be better than Shaq or we see a Pink Diamond d -Rob who will most likely be better than Shaq that means Shaq will drop in price guys like Akeem if we do see a Galaxy Opal d -Rob or a Pink Diamond d -Rob, that means most of the centers in my team will drop a lot in price so I would say shooting guards and centers are cards that you guys might want to consider selling you know even a guy like T-Mac might not be a terrible idea you maybe don't have to sell your point guards because I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna get a really 
really good point guard. So maybe if you want to hold on to a Penny Hardaway, a Lamella Ball might not be a bad idea. And then if you guys are looking to buy some cards, I would say over the weekend is definitely going to be a really good time to do so. Whether it's Friday or Saturday, I think it's going to be a great time to buy cards, right? If you guys want to maybe buy Giannis, maybe you want to buy Kobe Bryant or Ricky Davis, because they'll definitely drop in price with obviously Opal MJ coming out. I definitely think that's not a bad idea. So I'd wait to buy probably on Friday or Saturday. And then if you guys wanted to sell, I think you could maybe sell today. And then I'd say Sunday, Monday, we'll probably start to see the market rise back up a decent amount with obviously being Christmas, a lot of people getting the game. I would say the market probably going to rise after that. Obviously, there's going to be a ton of new players into the game, right? Wanting to play the game and just playing the game in general. So I think we'll see the market probably start to go back up a decent amount with a lot more people wanting these top tier cards. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about tomorrow's content drops? Any predictions you guys have as well? And let me know what cards you guys are planning on buying and selling as well. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.